Hello, my name is Hellbent, and welcome to the Auto Hotkey GUI tutorials. In this one, we're looking at Edit. Uh, I believe we're up to part eight or nine. So I've broken all of these uh, little things into little parts, so that way, if you're only looking for a specific thing to deal with the Edit Control or Edit Box, you can pick and choose whatever you want. Okay, so I'm a, I can't really talk and type at the same time often, so I'm going to fill in a bunch of defaults that I use for my scripts without saying much. And if you're curious about these things, I've covered these in past tutorials, so if you want, you can go back and watch some of them if you haven't already. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to create my GUI, show, and a width of 500, and a height of 500. Just a nice big old GUI. And a title. So I'm going to call this edit, edit tut, and add in a return. Okay, so there we have our template. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that way when I press that X at the top corner of the GUI, it actually exits out of the whole script rather than just closing the GUI and having the script run in the background. So GUI, that's the label. And one last thing before we begin is GUI. I guess I should have said what this tutorial was about, but I'm pretty sure that the title of this video will have that in it. So anyways, um, what we're going to be doing is looking at making it so that way when somebody enters something into our GUI text field or edit box or whatever, our edit field or edit box, um, it's going to convert it to uppercase or lowercase depending on which one we use. Okay, so you know those people that type in all caps, they're annoying. Well, with this, we can prevent them from doing it or we can make them do it. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and add those in. So we're going to use two edit fields, one for each thing. So GUI add comma edit. Okay, and the first one is we're going to do lowercase. And the second one we're going to have uppercase. Okay, so everything looks okay. So let me save this and we will run it. Okay, so here we have our GUI. We have two edit fields and we've told it that for this first one, it doesn't matter what I type in, so I can push cap lock, I can hold shift down, no matter what, it's all going to be in lowercase. The second one, it doesn't matter what I do, it's all going to be uppercase. And if we get rid of this guy here, and we copy this one, and paste it in, it's going to change it from its lowercase to its uppercase. And if we change, take this one, copy it, and paste it into here, it's going to do the opposite. Okay, so I don't know why you would want to use this, but I'm sure you might eventually come up with a reason to do this. But anyways, that's how you do it. Very easy. And that's it for this one. I will see you on the next one where I'm going to show you how to format the tab feature. So that way you can create nice columns, make sure everything's nice and organized within your edit field. And I will see you there.